Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. Topic for today video is flexible height of galleries in Power Apps. Gallery is one of the most used control in Power Apps, and today we will see how we can create a gallery having a flexible height. That means the height of the gallery will be based on the number of items inside the gallery. Let me show you a quick overview what we are going to achieve today, and we will start with the hands on. Now I will move to my Power Apps environment. Over here, I have created a sample app to demonstrate this flexible height gallery. I will play this app. At the top, I have country. I have three country. These are simple uh, check boxes: India, America, and Germany. And over here, I have this vertical gallery to display the state. So whenever I will select any of the country, let's say if I will select India, it will give me the list of all the states of India present in my SharePoint list. So here it is my SharePoint list. In the SharePoint list, I have sample data for three countries: India, America, and Germany. Let's say if I now select any other country, let's say America. So you could see this will show me the, the uh, states for the America. And similarly, if I select Germany, it will show me the states for the Germany. Now the important point to note is the height of the gallery. If I am selecting Germany, the height of the gallery is according to the number of states present. If I am selecting none of the states, you could see the height of the gallery is different. If I am selecting America, the height of the gallery is accordingly to the number of items present inside it. If I select two states, it will show me the states for both India and America. And you could see it adjusted the height of the gallery. And if I select all the three states again, all the three, uh, all the states of the three countries are present, and there is no issue with the height of the gallery. Now let me show you what would be the issue if you are not using flexible height. This is another screen which I have prepared to demonstrate the issue. Over here, if I select India, now this is fine. This is showing me the states for the India. Now let me select America. You could see the white space after the states because over here I have a fixed height. If I go to my app, let me try to increase the size over here. This is in the edit mode. Now, if I expand this, this is my gallery, vertical gallery. And if I go to the height property, you could see the height is fixed 500. And because of that, it will always take that particular height irrespective of the item inside it. Even if I select Germany, which has only two states, it will give me all this white space, which is looking very, uh, I would say, not looking very good. And if there are no items, what about that? It looks really, really bad. So how we can fix this issue that we will see. Now let's uh, see how we can create the same gallery with a flexible height. So what I will do to work with this, uh, what we will do, we will simply select this gallery. This is my gallery. And I will work on the height property. So now what I will do, I will select the gallery over here and I will go to the height property. Height property is 500. Now, how we will define the dynamic height or flexible height. So, let me select one country over here. Now, what is defining the height of my gallery? Height is defined by the these items. See, this is one item. Then, based on this, based on the number of rows. For example, right now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, I have 6 rows and this is the height of, let's say, one cell or one item. So whatever is this height into 6 will define the uh, complete height of my gallery. So this is the basic logic which we are going to use. Now what is this height? First we have to see. So this property is template size and template padding. So if you see over here, if I uh, in the gallery, there are these two properties. Template size. For example right now it is 76. Let me make it 176 and you will see the result over here. See, it got increased. And similarly, if I select template padding, let's say I'll make it 50. It again, uh, the you could see it, it has added some padding at the top of this box. So that is my padding or uh, padding that is on the left, right, top and bottom. So these two properties we have to consider. In our case, template padding, I will keep it at zero. I will use this in my uh, formula logic so that in case you are using it, it will work in your environment. Now let's see how we can use this. 
but as I said, let me revert this also. I'll make it 75. It looks good, fine. Now, uh, two things we need. We need template size, template padding. These two are available in the form of uh, property, but we have to count the number of rows. Now, another thing, this is a vertical gallery. Now, if I've used one more property called wrap count, my wrap count is 5. Let's say I'll make the wrap count as 0. So everything will come in one single column. All the entire items from the list will come in one single column. So to make it more readable, what I have done, I have split it into multiple columns. And how I can do that? I can do that with the help of the wrap count property in gallery. So I'll split this complete items with the help of wrap count. So wrap count was 5. Now it got split like that. So we will be using these three properties. So what I will be doing, I will be counting the total number of rows. That is the total number of items present. Let's say total number of items are 20. But I am dividing it into by using wrap count. So what I have to see, for example, 20, my wrap count is 5. So 20 by 5 will means 4 items in one column. That means we have to take the template size and template padding for 4 items. So that is the business logic. Now let's start with the implementation. So I'll come over here. I'll get rid of this 500. So what I will say. So I'll start with this with function. I'll tell you what is the use of with function and why I'm going to use this. So with function, if you see the explanation uh, provided by the Power Apps, the scope with which to call the formula defined by the second parameter. So over here in the first uh, as a parameter, we can define any variable. And I can use it within this particular scope that is within the scope of the with function. That variable would not be available over here. It is used, basically it is used to have a better code readability. I can define one variable at the top and I can use it multiple times instead of, you know, writing that same code again and again. Or instead of creating some variable. Because in this height property, I cannot use any set function to create a variable. Or I have to find some alternate way. So if I have to create any variable, I can use this with function. I'll show you how. So this is with function and inside this parenthesis, I will create that variable and after that, I will use that with my uh, some calculation. Over here, my calculation is template size and template padding. So uh, this is the gallery. So what is the uh, template padding? I can get it self dot template. I'll say self dot template height. I'll use it for now. Now we have to multiply this template head with count row or number the rows uh, provided by this gallery or number of the item present in the gallery basically that will become the rows okay so that i will say where count rows and now how we will calculate the rows so what i'll do i'll go to the item part of my gallery basically this is this filter function okay so i'll copy this with this i'm getting all the Item. So what I will do again, I will go to the height property. So again, you can get it from your item property of your gallery. So this is the one. This will give me the number of rows. So I am getting the count row function, and I have a template height. Let me use this format text for a better code readability. So over here, you could see this inside this with function. I have created a parenthesis for the scope, and I have created a variable over here, and I can use this variable over here. So I'll get the variable. I'll say where count rows into template self dot template height for example i i have got 20 rows let's say 20 items are present uh, for one country so this will become 20 and whatever is the template uh, height or template size so over here it is recognized as template height and here it is template size so don't get confused let me show you also there is no property called template size so if you will see there is only template height so self dot template height and let me see why i've got this error see expecting one of the following it is saying this is expecting some number so this will not give me the number for that i have to use this count row function count row function would give me the number of rows present in this particular filter will give me the table and count row function will give me the number of rows so now this is fine this is also fine what next what we have to do we have to add the 
for example if padding is also there as i explained you earlier the same thing i will say and i'll say self dot template padding and this is also done now with this width function this is working fine for me if i control a to control it and this is the height called 2100 now this height is not correct because this is working based on you know say one column now we have not taken into consideration for the wrap count so but we have five columns so what i'll do i'll split uh, divide this height by divided by five so this will become my height of the gallery and next you could see it started working over here and this is fine now with this what i can do you could see this the height is uh, this boxes or this content of the gallery is totally touching this border so to give some padding what i can do i will put this into uh, this bracket and i'll say plus 50 just to have some padding at the bottom so this is done now this is the height of my get so this is the formula i will explain you once again but let's see if it is working so if you'll see india now height of the gallery is fine if i select america this is also fine if i select germany this is also fine so this is working exactly fine. so this is the formula which we are using i will explain you once again and also you can find this formula in the description box below the formula is this for example what we are doing we are counting the number of rows that means the number of items written in the gallery for that just uh, get the formula present in your items property of the gallery and put count row function to use this variable uh, at these places otherwise i have to put this piece of code at two places i use this with function otherwise you can do without this also just for better code readability and then divided it by the wrap count plus some buffer if you wanted to keep another thing which i have used over here you can uh, for example sometimes this might can written into some decimal places so you can use this round of function also which i have used in my uh, first screen just if you want you can do it otherwise you can leave it as well so round up and you can say till one decimal places it's up to you one decimal places or zero decimal places that's it so if you want you can uh, put it zero two decimal places or three decimal places so this is the overall formula even if you do not want it to use round of function it should work thank you for watching today's video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos till our next video much love, keep learning, thank you.